Let me show you how to get a trend line on your GeoGebra scatter diagram, which I'm going to build in the same way as I did before by selecting that data, uh, choosing a two variable analysis, and just telling it to use the headers as titles. We get the scatter graph very easily, but you'll notice there's a drop down option here to choose the regression model that you wish. That's a technical name for how to put a line of best fit on it. I'm going to assume it's linear for now, although there are other options as you can see in this list. If I click on linear, not only does it draw me a line, this is the y on x regression line, it also gives me the equation. And something to mention here, if your equation looks odd, it's the rounding is important in GeoGebra. It may round this number off to zero, for example, if I only had it set to two decimal places and the rounding options are buried in here. Uh, so you need to check what's going on if you have a slightly odd looking equation. Um, a couple of things to compare with Excel. It is extrapolating this line beyond the data. You need to be careful about drawing conclusions beyond the data you've collected. Uh, that's potentially dangerous. Go and think about that for a while. Uh, but it does make sense that this line does carry on. That's what a mathematical line does. And one other thing useful in GeoGebra is that I can use this line of best fit very easily by uh, this symbolic evaluation box. For example, there are no cars with uh, a uh, engine size of 3,500 cubic centimeters, but I could guess what uh, their fuel usage might be by looking at this line, and I could actually get that line to calculate it for me exactly by asking GeoGebra by typing in 3,500 here. Press return, and it tells me that would come on the straight line to about 6.68, uh, which looks about right there. So that's a useful feature, and as ever, if you wanted to put this back on your graph, you click on Copy to Graphics View, and then you have something you can play around with a bit more by zooming out and uh, dragging things. You can change the size of the points again. One final thing to mention, this is the Y on X regression line. In Excel, you have no choice but to do that. But if you wanted to do the X on Y regression line, if you know what that is, you can do that in GeoGebra. And you can do that by typing into the box down here, fit line. That's what uh, the command it uses to do a, a uh, regression line, but actually fit line X tells it to do X on Y. And all it needs after that, um, if I just if, it's, uh, if I'm typing this and it suggested the function I want, press return to choose that function. It's asking for a list of points, and the list of points that my uh, earlier thing created is called list1. So I'm going to type list1, and it's actually going to give me a different regression line. This is the y, uh, x on y regression line now, whereas the previous one was the y on x regression line. If you're not sure what that is, don't worry about it, but GeoGebra has more flexibility to do that for you, should you wish it. And there we have a scatter diagram with some trend lines in GeoGebra.